Hi everyone, this is Miss Nikki Ann. I haven't seen um, you guys, well, seen. <laughs> I haven't been making videos. Um, it's so much going on and, um, and I, with my standing appointment for IV fluids on th every Thursday. So I'm there from 8 until, not 8, 6.45 until 4 p.m. But um, I had another um, gastric emptying test was it yesterday the day before it was both liquid and solid and so um, the tech was like it's just not moving you know it's what he said last year so um, we'll see what my GI says about that um, I'm more um, just wanting to say hello to um, Potsy mommy because I know she has a lot going on and I'm praying I'm praying that things um, work out so that her husband can continue to work and that she can continue to have insurance and get her IV fluids because I know how important that is. Also, to Val Potts Info, um, I'm hoping that what I gave to you, um, I emailed to you, um, that it is sufficient um, for your doctor. Um, and I will change the title to the other video. I forgot to do that part. And also Millie, um, God bless you, honey. And um, but I'm just happy that you're getting um, newer feedback, and I'm happy that they're looking at, you know, hopefully getting you back to eating, um, because I know with my issue, the battle is not. Um, we're trying to prevent um, a situation where I need um, tube feeding and so forth. So a lot of my days are just liquid drinks, but I realize after watching you guys um, out there that, hey, that's not so bad. You know, there are other people um, whose gastroparesis or esophageal problems are worse than mine. So bless you. Um, your friend Nina, always watch your stuff, you guys. And then um, elevate for him. I, I love it. I love it. And um, kudos for being courageous and uh, Jan for joining and I think we might actually see Jan <laughs> who else Hannah um, dysautonomia MD um, Dr. Diane oh, she's so sweet I've been um, treating my mast cell activation disorder with her Zyrtec Zantac suggestion it has made my life 50% better my quality of life 50% better I tell you, oh my gosh, I still have, it was so intense that I even take Benadryl every day still. I take the Zantac Zyrtec, Zyrtec twice a day and Benadryl. So it shows you how severe it really was. And I just, you look back and you say, how was I coping? You know, once we're all off the drug, we always wonder, how, how did I make it? Um, by the grace of God, I go by the grace of God. And so that's it. Just wanted to keep it short. Um, so I said, Hannah, there are lots of you. Um, Dana, Dana, um, love you, Dana. Um, who else? Um, oh my gosh, I'm not thinking straight, but I'm here. I'm just taking it one breath at a time. And um, new doctors, new things, um, addressing some other things in my life about my having been molested from first grade through fourth grade. So you know, I already do group meditation. I see a psychologist and I see a psychiatrist. And now I'm seeing a new psychologist with um, a women's group component of women who have been molested by um, family members, their fathers, their brothers, and their cousins, and also who've been raped. And it's just been, it takes a lot. And it meets twice a week, but um, I go once a week because the other day they meet is on the day I see my psychiatrist. But it's taking a lot. It's taking so much to address and heal that issue because, as we know, research has shown that um, women with autoimmune issues, um, if you look in their past, there is um, abuse there, um, uh, molestation, rape, and so forth. They don't know why and what happens, but... Um, that's not everyone, let me be clear, it's not everyone, but a, a big number to where they've actually done research on it. And so I remember when my neuro-ophthalmologist originally started me with the psychiatrist because when I had lost my vision, he, he told me about Freud, 
Freud's idea about um, girls who have been molested and how later on in life they lose their vision or have some type of autoimmune problem and things like that. So that's it. Five minutes in. Going to keep it short. I love all of you. And for those of you who lurk but don't comment, um, but you're lurking because you're gaining something from all of our videos, I'm very happy. I'm happy to be here to spread the word about what it is that we go through. I'm just happy to be able to do that, to be able to tell the story. Everyone, be good, be patient, and be in the moment, because we never know if we have another moment coming. Okay? God bless.